Okay, Jennifer, All right. can you please answer this question? I have families call me all the time and they're going through a divorce and they're looking for a lawyer and they're looking for a lawyer that specializes in divorce and special needs. Is that a thing? No, not really. <laughs> um, and I let you ask me this question, but I keep trying to dodge it because it's a tough question. There are lots of divorce attorneys who have a lot of um, experience with kids with special needs, but it's not an area of specialty. The bar has certain specialties. You'd be a certified family law specialist, but you're not gonna be certified in divorces with special needs kids. I think it's more of an interview process really for the parent in saying, have you handled a divorce? And, and when you talk to a lawyer, you can tell if they understand what you're saying. So, so when people come to us and they say, um, you know, my child has difficulty with transitions and I can talk to them about, okay, so what kind of sensory issues do we have? Or, or how, much, how much recovery time does the child need? And, and what's the special thing that they need that will, that will make that transition or recovery better? And so when you're talking to the lawyer, you're really looking for somebody who kind of speaks your lingo, understands what's happening within your life. And are they gonna get a better deal? Because it seems to me families think that if I had a lawyer who understand, understood special needs, that somehow they would get a better deal in the divorce based on that. I don't think it's a better deal, but I think that if the lawyer understands what the child's special needs are, that the, they can better educate the judge as to how the parenting plan should look and what might need to be built into the parenting plan to meet the child's needs. If the lawyer doesn't understand it, then that's gonna be really hard for them to do, to explain to the other side or to the judge who's making the ultimate decision. Uh, also, in terms of the child support, it would be helpful to make sure you had an attorney, if you have a profoundly disabled child, had an attorney who understood post-majority support and who had maybe done cases that involved post-majority support. And I would also be asking them if they understand anything about government benefits, such as the Arizona Long-Term Care Program or the SSI, the Social Security Program, because all of those things impact both the parenting plan and child support. So is it possible to get a child support after the child's 18 if they're disabled? Is that something that can happen? It is possible in the state of Arizona. Not every state has a post-majority support statute, but the state of Arizona does have a post-majority support statute. But again, you would want to talk to that lawyer and make sure that they understood that the child was on government benefits, such as they need to have an understanding of SSI and how child support will affect SSI and how child support might be deemed as income and may impact Medicaid benefits as well. So need, need to make sure when interviewing the lawyer that they have some understanding of both. And do judges in divorce court understand children with disabilities, do you think? They, I do, they do not have any particular training in that. So you know, the judges do go through mandatory judicial training, but they don't have any particular training in children with special needs, unfortunately. Thank you.